you know, but if it is there, then we, you know, we get the doubled and all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to um, discuss when those things happen. Gotcha. Okay. So it's going to be when will certain events happen that will make it a little bit more obvious that that some path is heading forward, mm. and then some of the analysts might need to start to price it now. Right. So you got this uh, Tesla and, and Elon win AI in 2025. Right. Because I'm saying that, that these major events, significant parts of them can happen in 2025. I think yeah. it's likely to happen in 2025. The picture is the um, XAI 100,000 GPU data center in the Colossus in Memphis. Um, so that's just what that is. Did you see that uh, there's there's rumors now that XAI has the B200s now? Right. Yes, I've heard that. Because they paid the, the billion dollars of uh, hurry up money to NVIDIA. Yeah. So they, they get them first and, and have them. Yes, I've heard that. Okay. So this is um, pictures <laughs> generated from Grok 2. I did this in like a, a few minutes. Yeah. It's a big deal because um, for a long time, I've tried to use all of the image generating tools. One, you can kind of, in some of the tools, you can make Elon look like Elon. Most of the time, not. And then the uh, Starship in the background there on Mars, not perfect, but it looks like a starship, right? It, it's uh, got the, the metal exterior. The cyber cab looks real, yeah. right? It, it's like, it was really good. I, I prompted it once, make Elon in the foreground, put a pile of money in the background and a <laughs> cyber cab and a starship in the background. Okay. And, and it made it and, it and it looks good. I didn't, so previously using mid journey and other things, you have to spend all this time to try and get it. and then rockets would never look like rockets right it would just like some kind of cartoon thing it just wouldn't look right and then i had um uh mark zuckerberg and elon musk fighting in an octagon uh -huh. the, the initial pictures they weren't sweaty i said make them sweaty and in the clinch because they weren't really like in there uh -huh. and again rapidly got to something that was i thought pretty good right yeah. so and this is grok 2. grok 2 is xai's large language model trained on about 20,000 GPUs. They updated the image uh, generation tool recently and getting you know very good results. So those are the kind of things where they're competitive with um, the uh, chat GPT, uh, uh, GPT 4.0, or I forget the, the, the what they call the latest one, but you know, like the latest one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that... Um, OpenAI is making about $4 billion a year um, on people doing AI queries. And then we don't have a breakout of XAI revenue generation, but it's on Grok. It is now, sorry, it's on XAI and X. So X um, is, is, of course, the, the, what was Twitter, 600 million people per, per month using it, 250 million per day using Simply. I use it at least half the time. Now, um, I don't use uh, Google search anymore. If other people follow me and start going over to that, then Tesla could, uh, sorry, X could, uh, and XAI could then get, you know, many billions of dollars by having a search replacement for that system. Um, so then we have four levels for XAI in 2025. Mm -hmm. They're about to release Grok 3. It's mm -hmm. going to be beyond GPT-5, and GPT-5 for OpenAI had not been released. They will not release it till at least May, according to uh, Kai-Fu Lee. Kai-Fu Lee is, used to be Google AI, and then he went and visited them and said, you know, they had problems. They won't release GPT-5 until um, middle of, uh, of 2025 at the earliest. Right. Um, and it will, this, according to um, Gavin Baker, manages a $4 billion fund, invest in XAI. He says it will be, you know, shockingly good, 100,000 chips, which is a bigger model. They had two- You're talking about Grok 3? Grok yeah. 3, right. So Grok 3 is going to be better than GPT-4 by, by, by January, like now. Right, right. It'll be way better than GP, all the GPT-4 four class models that we have now. And I think better than whatever GPT-5 will be several months later, mm, right? Okay. But we'll find that out January, maybe February, when, when it goes out onto X. But they're, as you've discussed, they're getting B200 chips. Grok 4 will be trained on 
the 200,000 H100s. So Grok 3 mm -hmm. was trained on 100,000 100, H100s. Grok 4, 200,000 H100s. I believe they will use more days. So instead of 50 days of training, I think 100 to 150. So that would mean um, uh, four times to six times the training time for uh, the model, plus the expansion of the model helps as well to make it better. And that will be available in May. And then the B200 you talked about that they're installing yeah. now, now, that would be Grok 5. So they right. would then start training them, you know, February, and then get the training done by, uh, by April or March. And then they would do some post testing, making sure it's all good. And then they would release it July, August uh, of next year. Um, the the huge thing that we mentioned before was that when they finish training Grok 4, um, then they can give over those um, H100s to, to Tesla to Tesla and increase the wow. training there. Yeah. yeah. And then Grok 6, I expect they'll have 300,000 B200s um, put in there. If they train that model, that'll be 40 times the Grok 3 model. And... Grok 3 is better than GPT-5. So beyond their competition, because un unless <laughs> Meta and, and Microsoft OpenAI and Google can install their data centers at the speed that... Uh, in less than a year. <laughs> in less than a year, they cannot get any new models trained with the, the large number of chips they have. Also, they, they have to do the, the technological magic that um, XAI did and Tesla did, where they had patents where the... Seven layers, uh, seven layers of the Ethernet protocol. So there's seven different layers of it. The bottom two have been hardware for you know decades. Um, Tesla and XAI rewrote the third and fourth layer into hardware to enable them to get a thousand times faster. You know, like instead of milliseconds, microseconds to do the response. Um, as a, another complex talk, he probably had other videos where he discussed the patents on that and but the, the point being that that redoing your technology at a fundamental base layer making new hardware to do it installing that and testing it on a hundred thousand a million gpus insanely hard right um xa and tesla were clearly working on it for since xa existed and tesla may have been working on it since before they did it because they were already working on um, for their dojo training systems. They were already using rewriting the third layer into hard into hardware. So this is with a multi year uh, head start tradition. So what you're saying here then is that a couple of things, right? So what what does this impact Tesla? Number one, mm -hmm. you're saying, and uh, people are pretty shocked at this when you explain them, that once G uh, Grok XAI implements the B200s and they start working on that, they are able to give the H100s to Tesla. But also, right. we also know now, we found out now, that Tesla's FSD is being used on Grok's, on, on XAI's supercomputers. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, Tesla is already benefiting from all this. And then you're probably going to tell me that having Grok improve this fast and this much is going to be have huge benefits to Tesla's products, right? Right, right. Things like simulation, that uh, if they need to simulate the world, that they can do that far better. We saw the pictures. They, they looked really good. They had some physics in there. They had shadows on the mm. uh, Starship and that kind of thing. So the better they can do simulation, then the faster they can test FFD, right? And the, and the bot. Mm -hmm. And the bots, right. So some people make the stronger case that if I could perfectly simulate the bot, then I could put the software into the physical body and it would it would work. It's not quite that simple as stuff to it, but roughly comparable. That if I can do a full simulation of it, then the software for controlling the bot is clearly closer. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So that's why they Tesla Dean set. Now of course Tesla's all also creating their own uh, Cortex, Giga Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're different, right? The one in Cortex is video, uh, mm -hmm. optimized for video. And this one's optimized for, uh, well, it's going to be everything. It's going to be everything. multimodal. So explain right. to me, like, I mean, can't Tesla already do it anyways on their own? 
supercomputers? Well, uh, they're basically working together, right? So the the fact that um, you know each of the teams, like we've we've seen that in the um, um, Walter Isaacson book, where yeah. Tesla's people go to each of the yeah, any company, any company to work on any problem, right? Yeah. And so if they're both Tesla AI and XAI, they're they're working hand in glove. 